Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 27 in chapter 22. In this problem, we look at the system. We can see we have two thin concentric spherical shells, right? And then the radius is R1 and R2. And for the inner shell, we have the charge density phi1 and outer shell phi2. Now we need to determine the electric field at different locations. So first one, the location is uh, R is smaller than R1, so it is there, the, this location, right? So in this case, we can draw a Gaussian surface, look like this one, yes. Now, did any enclosed charge inside this surface? No, because this is phi1, this is phi2, there is zero, right? So enclosed charge is zero. So we apply Gaussian's law, we can say the electric field times the Gaussian surface equal to the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. So this term becomes zero, makes the E equal to zero, no problem. The second one is R is larger than R1, smaller than R2, so zero, right? Similarly, we can still draw a Gaussian surface. Look like this one. Now, did any enclosed charge inside this uh, Gaussian surface? Yes. The charge distributed on the inner surface. So, so this part, right? So we can see the enclosed charge is just the surface charge density, phi 1 times the surface for inner surface. So 4 pi r1 squared. So this is a surface for the inner uh, radius. And then phi 1, right? This is enclosed charge. Therefore, we can apply the Gaussian's law, electric field times the Gaussian surface equals the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. We can write a function for electric field E equal to this one and then replace the enclosed charge with these terms, right? You put it inside and then simplify it 4 pi, 4 pi canceled. You get the answer here. The next one ask you to find the location. R is larger than R2, so there, right? Similarly, we can draw a Gaussian surface, look like this one. Now, did there any enclosed charge? Yes, the charge is located at the inner surface, and also the charge is located at the outer surface, right? So inner surface is a charge density times the inner surface, right? And then charge density phi 2 times the, charge, uh, the outer surface, looks like this one. Agree. Similarly, we still apply Gaussian's rule. So electric field times the Gaussian surface equal to the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. So there, replace the enclosed charge with this term, with this term. So you can get the answer look like this one. 4 pi, 4 pi, 4 pi cancelled. So you get the answer look like this one. The next one, we need to find what condition will E equal to zero for the, phi, for the R is larger than R2. So from the C, you can see we get the electric field uh, at the location R is R larger than R2. So we copy it there, right? So we want to make sure this term equal to zero. So this term equal to zero, that means the upper side equal to zero. So look like this one, agree? And the next one, under what condition E equal to zero for R is uh, between R1 and R2? So this one, we can see this is a uh, case is B. So we write down the electric field for this case, right, for B. We can see, draw the Gaussian surface. Enclosed the charge is the charge density, phi 1 times the inner surface. And then we apply Gaussian's law, electric field times the Gaussian surface equals enclosed the charge divided by epsilon naught. So we write a function for E and replace this enclosed charge as this term and get the answer there. If we want to make sure this E equal to 0, the only choice is a phi 1 equal to 0, right? Thank you.